is the shin bone should be vertical in both planes. Where she's looking now, she can see it in the front plane. In other words, she can see over the top of the down arm. So you can see that the knee should track over the top of the ankle. You can see that. And now through the side plane, you guys here can all see the side plane more so. Especially the people in front. And in this, the, the, you have to be high enough to be able to lock this in. If, this, if you can't get action in here, then you have to come high to be able to get that. Then you have to, as she's doing, you have to sort of keep tucking under. So the tailbone tucks under, and but from the head of the head of the the the, the uh, thing over the hamstring, <laughs> you have to get this pushing back down here and through here, not going out to the side. You can see she's taking her hands further forward. If she takes them back, she'll go too far into the lower back. That's too far into the lower back. They're like that. Now she can get more action, tucking back and tucking under. That's it, and getting this action here. This is what you need. All right, so like we're saying it, so the question is for all everyone in front, how's the front, how's the shin bone looking? Where's it at? Yes, no? No, the knee can come forward a little bit. This, 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 the... Scotty. <laughs> 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 all right, you happy with that? Yeah. That's good, isn't it? That's what you can see. You can see, how does that feel? What's the difference? Can you feel the difference? Oh, it's, I'm feeling it really in this sort of. Bump. Yeah, yeah, it comes right back in here. The glute releases, and it's, and that hip, the front hip has to go back. The back hip has to come forward. The pelvis should be neutral in both planes. This is ideally what you're trying to collect. All right, it's good, isn't it? Great, yeah. great. Hey. <laughs> this is where, remote asking, where's the weight? Who's going to answer? Where is the weight? Is it on the barrel? Well, no, it's on equal parts on both. Oh, so you're not actually yeah. quite seeing. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. The, when the, I, I did a little more when I had to move the knee, then I was like, oh God, then thank God the barrel's there. Right. <laughs> but, so the, yeah. This is a good point. With the barrel there, you can let the weight go onto the barrel, but then you lift up and as she's doing, you tuck under, which you can adjust, you can self adjust. And the only way you can do that is you push down in both legs at the same time, you see she lifts directly up. Her breast here, she inhale, exhale, she tucks under at the same time, then she tucks back. So she gets a square, otherwise it'd go like that. When you first go in, it'll be like this. Without the barrel, it'll be like this. So with the barrel, it allows you to go in with a couple of notches, a couple of increments. You know. And each time you go, each time you go in, you get a deeper uh, squareness with the pelvic floor. Good, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to straddle, we're going to go this, you guys this way, this way, and you guys this way, all facing, and we've got the right leg first, right leg first. Well done, good job. So just move everything else out of the way, straddle across like that, it's fresh before that ends the out, but you feel quite still and quiet. That's the difference, and that will carry you through. Alright, other side, that's great. Set it up other side, great job. If you develop a feel for these references, then you go deeper and deeper as you, as basically as the hips open. But the references of front leg, pelvis, back leg, trunk, all need to be where they are. We're going the same way again, so opposite leg again. Shoulder girdle, shoulder girdle over hip girdle, squaring up your hips. Bring your front foot further forward, Alex. No, sorry, back foot forward. Okay, so you have to try and find softness in the back ankle, front of the ankle, and get action in the heel. Otherwise, you won't get the hamstring. You won't get the Achilles. So some of you have to bring your front foot a little bit further forward. Yep, yeah, a bit further forward. That's it. And then get action in the back of the leg. Yeah, now it's hard. You feel you have to really sit here. The back of the leg has to work. But the front of the ankle has to soften to get that... This is good. Alright, I'm going to start spotting you. Remote back 50 mil. Front leg. Front leg back 50 mil. Front foot. Good, good. 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 That's good, Caroline. Everyone's good, good. <coughs> good.
see on the photograph there, Tony has got the photos, you see the way the back foot's <coughs> turned in. Back foot's turned in at 45. We did that before with that other posture where we, our face dog, where we threw the leg out to the side, the back foot was turned in. So we got nice opening there. What, if we turn the back foot in, what's going to happen to the posture? If we set it up and we've got the back leg going straight back and then we drop the back foot in, what's going to happen to the posture? It'll twist. The pelvis, you can see, as soon as you do this, the pelvis twists here. So you have, it's harder to get the back hip to come forward and the front hip to come back. This goes from here all the way to here and here. So the action's here, but you're pushing from here and trying to sustain the arch of the foot here. So this leg's going like that, coming from the, and square to the front, that's it. And it'll go deeper in the lower back. As soon as you do this, it'll start to go more in the lower back. So you have to tuck under and tuck back. It's more critical to be able to, able to get the side ribs, back ribs. Alright, so here, this is the posture and we're going to do it on the barrel. Can you? And we'll do it with that block again, which will help us to keep the arms. And now our panel's going to tell her what's, what's that? Is that where, where are you? <laughs> huh? Come on, panel. Where, where's it at? Foot needs to come back. No one wants to tell you. Brett was where his butt was. That's it. But you can see that's what's got to happen. If you, if you haven't got the right spacing, then the, it will jam in the groins. Or it won't open the whole pelvis. You know? It's still got to come back a little, doesn't it? Jeez. <laughs> that's it. So if you took it further back and up through the leg at the top of the hamstring, that's Ooh. it. That's going to that's gonna do it for it. <laughs> It goes a little bit in her pelvis, doesn't it? You can see. So it's hard to get the pelvis square. Which is really long way splits. Front foot's come out again, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to let her off? I'll tell you, let's. Let That's better. Yeah, well, this is good. All right, that's good. We're happy with that. We're happy with that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. All right, set yourself up, Kelly. The given that you saw what happened with Alex, I was just about to, but I didn't worry about doing. I would have gone up and put a small block underneath that, a small block underneath, so build it up that much. So in other words, she needed to get underneath here. Yeah, let's do it, and then we'll see. Put this underneath. And given this goes, as soon as we changed from part one to part two of the posture, it needed to come up higher to, to compensate for the fact that the opening's not there long way splits. And going back to Ramon's question before, where's the, where's, uh, where's the weight? You have to try and get the same effort in the front leg as in the back leg. So the perineum straight down, the muscle groups in the base of the spine are straight down, not back like that. And then the spine will look vertical front and back. That's better, isn't it? How's it feel, Alex? Good. <laughs> See, she's happy. So you, you know, your opportunity to you go higher if you want. That's it. It's a bit it's square. You can still go back 20 mil, 20 mil of front leg. Okay. As that opening in splits gets more, you know, more opening, then the thigh, the thigh, the front leg would be horizontal. But that's optimum for you know, this situation now. It's great, beautiful. <laughs> So you can go higher with your barrel. I think for most of you it's a good idea. <laughs> Alex, I was keen to come up with you should.